Whoa, we're doing it. Okay, another episode. Here we go. All right, hey friends. I'm Angela. And I'm Marcy. And you know what this is. This is our virtual cigar lounge, authentically Angela video podcast. And we're launching. Yeah. So, of course, we're going to get right to it. What are we cutting and smoking today? Oh, All right. Yes. What do I have here? A new Cuba. It's a Connecticut. I like it. I like the chunky ones. Yeah. This, uh, oh, yeah, I have to put, I'll, I want to put the Vitola on the bottom. Because this, go. does it say it on here? It usually, um, I like mm. the, it looks like about a five inch. Yeah, it's a five um, by 50. Cool. Oh, it's five by 50. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, yes, so actually um, today is um, San Giuseppe Day, March 19th. I don't know when I'm going to get to post this video, but in our virtual lounge today in the garage, it's San Giuseppe Day. So I am actually going to smoke the uh, cigar put out by San Giuseppe Cigars. Uh, this is the uh, Castle La Mer. Um, and what's this, Vitola? This oh, is a nice short one, too. Though. Yeah, oh, I love a, I love a big ring gauge. This looks like a 60 ring gauge. Yeah. This is probably, what, five by 60? I'll have to put it below. So um, let's see, what kind of cut are we doing? I'm gonna do my trusty V. Love my V cut. <laughs> I'm gonna use your stolen ashtray. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we could share this. We could share this. All right. This one's for you, behind the scenes. The behind the scenes. <laughs> All right. Just. Uh, there you go. Do you mind sharing this anybody? one? Not at all. Not at all. All right. You need it to be closer to you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! This one's flaking ah! a little bit. Uh oh. That's all right. I'm still gonna love it anyway. It's fine. I flake all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I love your humor. Okay, so we're going to toast the foot. Uh oh. Don't you, you with freaking that even? It just worked. <laughs> oh, Marcy's gonna get that. Her Good poor man. lighter. So, okay, as I'm lighting this up, let's talk a little bit. Okay, so San Giuseppe, that means Saint Joseph. Okay, and for those that know, it that's, uh, you know, Mary and Joseph, um, Joseph, uh, the, in, in Italy, it's considered uh, Father's Day over there today, actually. So, um, and not really to get religious, uh, but I am a Sicilian American, and in my household growing up, we absolutely um, celebrated the San Giuseppe in the most uh, spectacular way with the food, and there's a sphinge. It's a pastry. They say they like to uh, see. Um, also, just uh, March seventeenth, the other day it was St. Patrick's Day, uh, but we were gonna get together for a smoke for that, but we missed that. But that's fine. So she's wearing her green today, and I love it. I mean, I did celebrate last night oh. for St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, yeah man. Well, I didn't well, wear this. I'm not that. <laughs> well, let me. <laughs> you're gonna tell me a little. But let me just say so real quick. They say the Irish they have their drink. On your on St. Patrick's Day and on Saint and San Giuseppe they have the uh, the pastry so we don't oh, so because okay. um, it's a sphinge of San Giuseppe it's just um, a puff pastry uh, with either cannoli inside or the cream that's all that's all if you're Italian or Sicilian or adjacent or have you know, married to one and know it you know what I'm talking about so comment below if you do know what I'm talking about now tell me what you were doing last night for uh, St. Patty's oh it was just you know it was just a house party. And, um, you know, you, you go, you never know what to expect. And um, there were shenanigans, of course. <laughs> oh, it's always good to have shenanigans. <laughs> Adult shenanigans are fun. It was a small house, and people were packed in. It was, uh, those are the best. They really are the best. So it was a great time. It was definitely, um, I'm glad that we made it. We, we try to make it every year, and for some reason, we're just never around. Oh, so they have like an annual. Uh... Yes, they are Irish. They oh, you, now are they? Sick. Were they born in America? Or are they? Pink? They were born in America, yeah. but their all most of their family still lives over in Ireland. Cool. There was cool. only Irish music playing. There was some Irish step dancing, some pseudo Irish step dancing people who were yeah. trying to step dance after one too many. Did you? I did not. <laughs> I have we not ex talked about my oh! relationship with gravity? Yeah, this poor girl. <laughs> This poor girl. Well, since I already cut this, though, I need to start, I need to clear my palate. I always say every time, basically almost 99% uh, of the time, I'm drinking a lime LaCroix. That's my jam because I 
love to clear my palette in between puffs. That's just me. Everyone knows that follows my cigar reviews that I have a super palette, and that's my preference. And what do you have over there? Oh, uh, 99% of the time I have coffee in my hand. <laughs> oh, we had we didn't we had to start off with our cheers and then uh, we didn't. so I'm double fisting it. Nice. I have my house made coffee. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. And remember, what's the other one? Especially on San Giuseppe Day, the uh, Alla Sante. Alla Sante. <laughs> <laughs> that means to your health. Oh yeah. Now, coffee, I, I used to, um, speaking of cleansing the palate, I used to work in a candle store, and we sold Yankee Candles along with many, many others. But we would keep little um, jars of coffee beans. And if you smell the coffee beans, it clears out your palate. So after you're smelling all these candles, you're like, I, I don't, I have no idea what anything smells like anymore. So, yeah, you know, that's actually... Um Really smart. I wonder who invented that because at um, Ulta Beauty, that was the first time I ever noticed um, they that they when you're buying their perfumes, yeah, they have these little cute jars with the coffee beans with the holes at the top. And they do. I yeah, never they realized you smell that. In between. That's interesting. Um, when you're picking out a perfume, and that was the yeah. first time I ever heard of that. I wonder. I mean, I don't know if if it's the same with drinking the coffee. But, I mean, I'm going to keep trying. It <laughs> doesn't matter what hour of the day it is. If there's a coffee available, I will drink it. I'm going to throw this lighter through the wall. <sighs> I have to actually cut this He's again. It's nice and warm. Something happened over here. I never... Caressing and cradling. Speaking nicely. <laughs> I'm going to pin it a little bit. We'll see what we have it. Oh, yeah, that one um, can tend to... Uh, how, what do you think Just of the flavors little. of that one? It's good. It's... Because um, I have a different one if you want to try. I just had uh, no, Marcy's trying this one for the first time. Listen, i got to fill out my journal. So <laughs> I can't have just what I like all the time. i got to try them. It's good. I mean, it's certainly not... Um, I wouldn't be maybe a go-to, but it's... Um, I feel like I could smoke it if that's what I had. You know, I, as a, a wedding DJ, I, um, the, this couple had a cigar bar there, um, mm. and these were one of the featured cigars. Mm. And I don't know, sometimes, you know, when you're in a certain environment, you get the vibes of, like, whatever you're doing, it could be enhanced for the better, even though if you just, like, now you're smoking mm. it standalone, it's yes. not as good. So right. I, they had that, I tried it, I thought it was great, and I bought a yeah. whole pack of it. But I feel like um, it's a Connecticut leaf, and mm -hmm. um, it has a nice creaminess. Yeah. Do you taste that? Uh, yeah, I do. But at the draw, is it a tight draw, or is it... Um, but it might not, but the burn on that, I know the construction probably it could... Can, it will canoe. Yeah, um, all right. But you know what? I'm going to say... Um, I have to get, I'm going to get a different one. What? This I don't know what happened to this. Oh, but they yeah. do say there's sometimes at least, even in, even in the uh, the best... Even in a, uh, I, do I dare say maybe a Padron uh, pack um, box, that there's always there could be always that one lonely uh, something happened to that one cigar in the box. So I think I'm gonna chalk it up to that. For the Sorry, first little time. buddy. Uh oh, no offense there. I'm gonna get another set just up and see what. All right, so we're all in the cigar community together. It happens. I just grabbed another uh, San Giuseppe here. Um, this one also is the Castle Lamour, Lemaire, I'm not saying that right. This is a 6 uh, by 54, so 6 inch by 54 ring gauge, and let's see where that gets us today. Now, this is Beautiful. a cedar wrapper, mm -hmm. did you know that? I actually, I, I have lit my cigars with cedar spills before, but someone I saw on YouTube, they said, this is a, like a cedar spill, right with the guitar. Uh, the guitar. Oh my God. <laughs> right with the cigar. S guitars cigar, and cigars. Cigar, guitar. It's, a, it's um, all right. Losing my mind with you today. Um, so I'm gonna, let's light it with that. They said, why don't you just kind of kill two birds with one stone here and light with what you got. So let's see if that works. I might burn my... Oh, so you light the cigar with that. Oh yeah, well this is like a what? cedar spill, right? Let's see. 
So for those that are just listening, uh, I am going to burn my fingers here. I'm going to try to light my cigar. It's, it's, it's a very beautiful, like, artistic way to light your... Oh, oh I'm digging this. Ooh, you're going to ash. All right. Did it work? I think so. All right. Oh my gosh, We've that smells it. so good. We achieved it. It's like a little fireplace. Oh my gosh, that smells. But now we're going to get the smell of that I red. I love it, I of the cedar, a... right? <laughs> well, it's fine. Cool. It's... All right, so we have a little uh, fireplace oh, going here in our ashtray. I love it. It's a little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, warm up. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That so you can see it on the you video. You can see it on the video. <laughs> the flame out. was amazing on that. Cool. Fun. You saw it here first, people. No smoke detectors in here, right? We're fine. No, we're in the <laughs> we're in my detached garage. All right, so we already jumped around Woo! a few. I, uh, I know. Um, Why do we have an agenda, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to, you know, kind of this. It's kind of good to uh, oh, yeah. keep on track right. so the people can follow along. <laughs> um, so why? What do you want to talk about? Oh, it, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like, we've gone off on all these tangents. I it's love funny. a good tangent. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too, I really do. Okay, this is way better. No flaking, nice, beautiful. Now, with the San Giuseppe, in my opinion, I feel like this is a nice draw, a nice, creamy stick. I really, these are one of my, these are, I put them, maybe because I'm also partial, because <laughs> it's got my a Sicilian little. flag on there. Mm -hmm. Um... I put them in my top 20, my personal okay. top 20. I don't, I, I think I have, I wouldn't be able to label, like, I have to, I have to start keeping track mm -hmm. of what I smoke so that I can start creating my list of top 20. Well, do you have, like, well, your, your top, you, you love the acid. I do love the acid. I do. I have five. to say, I, I could go to those, uh, you know, any night. I could definitely... Um, smoke one of those, but see how smoky this is. God, I love a, I love a nice smoky so output good. too. Yeah, I do too. These are really good. Oh, you smell! It's almost like we just had someone's birthday in here, <laughs> <laughs> like birthday candles and because uh, it was like the ribbon just burned up. Yeah, too. <laughs> it did. We really hit that. It's all right. Next time we'll take the ribbon off because the cedar smells so pretty. Yeah. Let's well, go. let's see. Tell us, now, I'm going to get the other cedar. Let's going to, um, the cedar spill. We need a better smell in here than that burning ribbon. <laughs> I love all the gadgets. <laughs> I guess not gadgets, paraphernalia, perhaps. Yeah. Contremont. Yeah, will. yeah, you know me. I, I love everything about a cigar, anything. Okay, so I just lit another cedar spill. Let's see what kind of. And nice... these are literally by just to get that light. Well, this is kind of like, I don't, I, I don't know the history of it. Um, I think it got developed like at the cigar factory but i could um look it up they they're um a cedar spill are you asking me like why they yeah. sell them yeah in the first why, place? Well, right yes yeah that's a good question i don't know the why behind you know why someone said we need to light our cigars with this like if it's just pure fanciness or what was like the original purpose but yeah, this is a box of, I think, about 100. They're very thin, mm -hmm. um, just the cedar wood. Does that smell okay or now see that? We need some good smells in here. We don't want that ribbon smell. All right, so I'm lighting up this cedar uh, spill for the uh, the good smells. And a little fire again. A little fire, yeah. <laughs> we should. That's how we should light our cigars from the ashtray going forward. <laughs> that is a good picture. In the next oh episode, gosh. we'll do that. We're going to lose our eyebrows. Yeah. So anyhow, but um, yeah, I don't know the history of these, but um, it'd be cool. I'm going to, you know me now, I'm going to look that I up. I know. Because um, I do know aficionados love their cedar spills. It's just a cool vibe, I would say. Yeah, it is. Too. Fancy way. Fancy show. All right, so. What's happening? You, uh, as the listeners know, are involved in um, local theater. I am. So you just had a show. Tell us about it. What was Ooh. the name of the show again? Uh, it was Les Mis. Les Miserables. Oh, yeah. I think uh, I um, saw that on, in Broadway, it, on Broadway. I mean. But I don't. It's been probably 35 years. I don't remember. That I, well, my, I have two Three daughters. Um, and my older daughter did Les Mis 
with this same company six years ago. So it was, it's kind of great that now my younger daughter, who's about to go off to college, um, this was her, they'll do a summer show, but this was her last full, full show with them and it happened to be Les Mis. So, you know, it's an outside group. It's not with the school, but um, we worked with them for a while and I had stage managed their show last year. And I said, it was a lot of fun. Like, I don't mind. I get to spend time with my daughter. I love all the kids involved. And the parents, they're great. This was, um, this was a hefty show. As you know, just from, from seeing it. Um, so as stage manager of this particular show, I also worked, I ran the stage crew, which meant I was back there moving the sets and making sure the kids were where they needed to be. And it's like, Marcy, do you know where this is? Marcy, do you know where this is? As a mother, I'm like, yes, it's right where you put it the last time. <laughs> it's right yeah. where you threw it when you came up. Yeah. That's I terrible. find that, like, as a woman, and then once you become a mother, and, you know, no offense, guys, at all, because I have two sons. Don't, isn't it? It's incredible, like, how many things at once a lady can do. Like, honestly, and a mom, yes. like, don't get yes. in the way of a mom. You could literally be handling in your brain 20 things at once. Mm-hmm. You know, what's going on left stage, right? And then whose costume this? Exactly. I believe it because yes. it is so true. Yeah. It's a phenomenal phenomenon to watch. And it I just was, love to watch, like, moms it, just, like, <laughs> go into boss mode. Well, it was it was nice to be able to help out. Like I said, it was, it was heavy. It was um, uh, someone... Of my age. <laughs> my brain thinks I'm much younger. Oh, well, you look great, and you, uh, yeah. And I don't. appreciate that, but my body is like, yeah, what are body. you doing? I'm right there with you. Girl, <laughs> you should not do not be lifting this much stuff. So, and of course, there's tech week, if you're in the theater. It's hell week. It's, what the hell did I do this for week? It's yeah, like, we, in oh my God, it it's a so late week. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. Um, it was phenomenal. The, the kids that perform... It's anywhere from, I think, 8th grade to uh, seniors in high school. They're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, and I had sent you that clip of a, a senior singing, and I just, you just wonder, man, I just, the bravado. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a great, you know how they say, like, kids in sports stay out of courts, also with, like, being in theater and stuff? Mm-hmm. It's just a great way to um, have, like, community. Yes. And, you know, you're using your body in a way, too. Like, when you're singing and dancing, like, it's cathartic, I feel. It is. Like, because, um, mm-hmm. you know, um, I, I was in theater um, even up until college. I took um, some acting classes uh, in college just to kind of fill some credits. But it's just so almost like it has, like, a like you know, after, like, they say, like, a runner's high – after you're done, mm. like, it's almost like it's that peaceful at the end. Like, you really, you know, you're not, like, you didn't run 10 miles in sweat, but you, it's... I it felt is, like I did. Yeah, well, you did. You're the boss mom running around. Well, yeah, so tell us, like, um, the vibe of, like, opening night and mm. closing night. I know that there's, right? Yeah. The, what's, what's your well, it's, take it's on it? It's funny, because whenever my husband is like, what show, what show am I going to? And I said, opening night. I mean, opening night for the actors is Mm -hmm. they've worked months months and months and months like this is the culmination this is their first show it's it's opening night has this this vibe this excitement um just that we finally did it we've all of this hard work we're finally get to perform for everybody what we've done it's such a rush of adrenaline oh it so is there's this great there's just this high the energy everywhere um so did he go opening night? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I never, he, I usually go to all the shows. Mm-hmm. Now this, this one, I worked the show, but if I'm, if I don't work the show, depending on what it is, I go to almost all of the all shows of that she's yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. You only get this. You only get this once. Oh yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like I got to see my kid <laughs> as often. Um, but he's, he'll always go, um, strictly opening night. Um, but then, you know, closing night is such a different vibe it is isn't it it's now did you go did you open thursday or friday we actually open saturday they do oh, okay. two shows on saturday and they do two shows on sunday okay so the last show was sunday like what seven sunday is or... started yes yeah, yeah. seven and this is a three-hour show folks mm-hmm. oh yeah lame is is a big production it's a huge yeah actually production. i just um jogged my memory i did see it i was a when i was uh, a freshman in college i had the opportunity to go with my 
previous high school as a chaperone oh, to fuck. London for a theater. <gasps> yeah. That, I mean, that part I didn't forget, but I forgot where I saw Les Mis, and we were, um, it was in London. Oh, man. Uh, so that, that was a long time ago. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's all right. Mm-hmm. We won't uh, really say my age, but like we said, in that, our minds. Yes, yes. We're still 24. We really are. Cheers and on that cigar. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're going to stick with. So, yeah, it's a big production. What's yeah. the main song? Um, it's, it's in another, it's in like two. English and another language, isn't it? The the probably. The, the, I mean, the, it's a French the finale. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you hear the people sing? Or I mean, one day more is also yeah, that, and the, that the one final, closes out the yeah, first the, the first final, act. Um, chorus ensemble. Is, yeah, uh, it's incredible. That's the one with the, the flag, right? Sing. Oh yeah, I did see that. And you know what happened though? I fell asleep because I had jet lag from New York to London. And I actually Sorry. Called, yeah. Sorry to all those actors. <laughs> uh, well, I caught that. La- I caught the end, but I did. I had jet lag. But oh yeah, I do. Re- it was. Oh, it was incredible. Yeah, it was incredible. it's so emotional. I was like, 19, there's a lot of so. death, and they actually have a youth cast, and little Gavroche, who, um, <laughs> spoiler alert, uh, <laughs> little Gavroche <clears throat> is played by this. I don't even know how old he is. Maybe eight. Um, he was great, and but he dies mm-hmm. at the top mm-hmm. of the barricade, mm-hmm. and I'm telling you, the emotions. Yeah. It's crazy. This little boy did so good, and there's like you know gunshot fires, and then he just like dies as he's singing, and it, closing night, the actors you could see their eyes glistening yeah. as they oh, turn yeah. back to to finish their uh, their scene. So, but it was great. It was um, exhausting, uh, worth every moment. That's wonderful. Worth yeah. every moment. Yeah, lame so. is. Um, this is actually your yeah see yeah a little it bit is, it does canoe but it does. like I said sometimes the flavor profile is worth the the construction yeah which is what I do cover I in my reviews I what happened? I don't know I'm not oh it's um a, I put in my boot to warm up put in my boot there's a snake in my boot <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Woody <laughs> but see this one it's got a nice even uh it's holding the ash it does that's um, um that's pretty. That is very pretty. You like the aroma on that? I do, but the photographer brain is like, I want to get the like a super close up of like, it yeah. almost looks like a birch tree. Yes, to yes, me. yes. When it burns yes. perfectly like that. See, San Josep, this is this is one, like I said, one of my most favorites, and the other one we'll just ignore that. That happens. It happens to the best of them. If people who uh, are in the cigar world, if you don't know it, you need to know it. Um, that they always say sometimes you get that one lonely guy in the box even if you pay 250 bucks for your box of uh elite cigars um you get it you get it good sometimes it happens it's i'm natural. ordering a new lighter today you all heard it here <laughs> dude you could just have just use mine i'm going to <laughs> and but... also i'm going to say before i uh touch back on the play thing um when you go to a cigar lounge a lighter yeah you could share but I will say this, and if you don't already know, you're not supposed to share a cutter, though. Don't be sharing a cutter. If, if you don't know why, I'm going to tell you why. Because some people like me will, like, lick or, you know, when you put your mouth on the I top do. of the yeah. cigar, yeah. you don't want to be, like, yeah. sharing that with It's like anybody. sharing eyeliner or mascara. Mm. As a yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> so, uh, but anyhow, so I will say this. So when I was in theater, when I was in 11th grade, I, my sister was in 9th grade. And we did a production of 42nd Street. And it, oh, it was the best. But Marcy, it was when I asked you about like the difference of opening and closing night. Opening night, yeah, it's like that. Yeah. You worked so hard, months and months, and then you had that hell week, and then, right? And then opening night. But I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, by the time you get to the last show, the second show on closing night, because you, like, the jitters are kind of more like, you know, that's, you know, opening night jitters are kind of like out, right? And then you, um, also you're kind of, by the time you do two shows, or maybe the last show is your sixth show, if right. you have a Friday, right? And so you're that much more rehearsed, actually. You are, and yes. Then, and then also you're doing it as full company, not in just sometimes like, okay, we're going to do act one for like right. two hours, right. and then, right. you know, right? And mm-hmm. so would we, um, like this memory, I hope it lasts with me until my dying day, especially because my sister was with me. It was the greatest thing. When we did the final company, like, da-da, 40, 40, second street, like, we nailed the dance. It was unbelievable. Uh. It was like everybody just like, because you know how there's always that, you know, yeah, right? one's <laughs> shuffling this way, and then everyone's like, in the back, like, which, and it was like, because 
And I wish I had that still on tape. I know someone in my high school had it. But man, did we nail that. Right? And there's no greater feeling. And so to me, in my mind, I was like, closing the last show was just, and then everyone's throwing the flowers at you on stage yes, and stuff. Yeah. So, t so how did your daughter feel? Like, was she just like on a natural high? It is, it is a natural high. Now, a lot of these kids are seniors. So they're going off to college, right? It's and bittersweet. It's super bittersweet. They've done theater with these kids and some they done because it's an outside group they they go from different high schools but those that they've they go to high school with they've also mm. done those shows it, yeah, together, together right yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you got the outside so it's was there a good handful of people from her school in this production um like at least yeah five i would more? say so yeah. yes so yes. that's a tight knit yeah it really is and you know they're friends out of school and out of theater and, and that's one thing that theater does allow you make this community this friendship that you're you can always pick up the phone and you know they're there oh for sure you make this it's just an interesting connection that oh, these kids sure. make but it's super bittersweet they're very close and um the, the show being so emotional you know played into that but they're always the criers no matter if they have like they're like 15 16 years old they're like it's my baby <laughs> the yeah. sobbers yeah yeah, so comment below love. if you've ever been in a high school production or you were in college uh, theater. Uh, it was just, just good memories. It's good it really memories. is. Yeah. It really is. Now, were you in um, theater in college as well? Uh, no. Oh, um, did you hear that? I'm sure. If you hear all that creaking, yeah. the wind right now in, in where we are is whipping like a bandit. And I think I've said this before, where my wall meets the roof here in my detached garage, there's an opening. There's an opening eve. Do you hear the creaking? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. It, like this garage is, I think, kind of swaying a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we might lose our podcast uh, zone here. But um, um, so now were so you in, in I college as well? I actually am not a college graduate. Oh, I did not go to college, but I do remember. Whatever. That. Uh, that makes I you smarter. I did not. That makes you smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I tell people, listen, I got an MBA, I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> you know cigars, girl. Uh, oh, come on! I, you know, let's talk so about that some more. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Um, I didn't start theater until two thousand nine. Oh, so you didn't even do it in high school? But you're a big, yeah. So you were like, I was in the boom. chorus in high school. Yeah. I always liked it, but yeah. never had the confidence to like. I was going to gonna do say it. you're so into it. Now, you must have want. Yeah, you must have wanted I mean, to a little bit. Like my girls auditioned, mm -hmm. and it was community theater, and they're always like, we're always looking for adults. Um, a lot of adults auditioned, so I was like, all right, like, for my another mom, a friend of mine, she's like, well, I was thinking of auditioning, and if, like, mm. I'll audition if, if you, you audition, audition yeah, right? I was like, sure. all right, that's fine. Yeah. We get there, and she's like, I can't, I can't do it, I can't audition. Hmm. Like, what do you mean you can't audition? I'm auditioning. Like, you <laughs> Yeah, you just wrote me into this. And then I got, like... This decent part. What the hell is happening here? What world am I in? Is that the first show you did? That's as an adult? the first show I ever did. As and an adult. what was that called? It was called "A Monster in My Closet." It was phenomenal. It was so much fun. Cool. Because there were a lot of adults in it. Yeah. So you know, it's good. And then I just went from there. We wanted to do a little something cute today. This is a. Uh, the Office Mad Libs, but I had Marcy pre-fill out this, uh, you, you did each one? I did each one. Um, but she did not see. I did not cheat, I promise. No, no way. You would never cheat. Oh no, I don't have my glasses. I could see though. Um, so this is Do called. You, these probably won't help you. Oh, but we have to, I have to write them in. Okay, so before okay. she reads me these uh, adjectives, this and that, mm -hmm. I will say, I just stopped camera real quick and, I, and Marcy, is now smoking what I'm smoking. Mm-hmm. And we're just... Slightly. This is... Is this the one that you tried to smoke earlier? Yeah, the other uh, uh, Vitola, though, was yeah. a little... But, um... So beautiful. Yeah. Because it is San Giuseppe Day, so now we're both smoking the San Giuseppe, and we've got a lot of uh, smokiness in the air here. I love it. All right. That's a great burn. That other one, yeah, was canoeing too much. We can't deal with that today. <laughs> All right, so all right. this is going to be fun. So, Marcy, give me an adjective. Now, I want them to all be uh, cigar-related words. Okay. As One adjective. Most, as best I can. Mm -hmm. Creamy. All right. So, now, let's do a verb ending in I-N-G. Smoking. Ooh, of course. Um, type of building. Lounge. Mm-hmm. 
Is that a building or a place? I don't care. Mm, we can make We're it gonna work. We're going to use it. We're having fun. <laughs> These are Mad Libs. And now, ashtray. This mm-hmm. amazing Perdomo, which if an intruder comes, we can also defend ourselves with. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Clonk them right on the head. A place. Cuba. Ooh, you got it. Adjective. Nutty. Mm-hmm. Noun. Humidor. Oh, I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> um, type of building, once again. Factory. Ooh. Cigar factory. Mm-hmm. Silly, oh, d- silly word. Okay. Oh, silly, uh, silly word. One silly word, and then it says same. What we will do to an intruder with this, if one should happen to come in. Bonk. 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 Same silly word. Bonk. Okay. Verb. Puff. That's a verb, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Action or something. Yeah. Verb ending in ing. Puffing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, exclamation. Fire! Fire! We had earlier. Oh, yeah. In there. <laughs> um, color. Okay. I'm going to... You have to check your spelling on this one. Aubergine. Oh, my goodness. What color is that? <laughs> uh, it's like a purpley. Aubergine. I believe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, type of food. Tacos. Mm-hmm. Um... Plural noun. Cigars. Yeah, man. Okay, so for you playing along at home here, the Office Olympics. Are you an Office fan? Do you watch the Office? Yeah. Oh, okay. That because well, I loved that episode. It was funny. Well, they're all funny. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna see since you just said that. Uh, tangent time. <laughs> And I and and I and definitely definitely comment below because the office had like a re a rebirth. That's what I heard. Is it out? Is it, it or no? Well, I mean, it did a few years ago. Like I'm saying, from when it first came out, mm-hmm. I don't even know what year that was. Two th- two thousand. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. So when I watched it the first time around, actually, I, at that oh, time, I, saying, yes. I was working in one of those types of offices at that time. Actually, no. Yeah, because I used to be customer facing a lot in my in like a like a retail uh, banking. And then at one point I was in like that back office, right? Not customer facing. And one of my coworkers would be when the office came out, and she'd be like, "I'm not watching that show. You know, super popular. Everyone's like talking about it around the water cooler, so to speak, right?" And she's like, "That's like us here at work." She's like, "It's so annoying. I'm not gonna work here all day and then go home and then <laughs> watch the office." About so it was actually when sometimes when I watch certain episodes, I think of when she said that because it was very similar oh my gosh. to that orf- office environment that I did work did in. Did you label everybody team. like, "Oh, you're a Dwight"? You're, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you're man. totally a Creed. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Creed. Creeds. There was a couple Creeds in the back there. All right. Oh, uh, all right. But anyway, it had a rebirth. My mm-hmm. sons, um, a few years back, I guess when it was on Netflix or what have you. I think it was Netflix. Um, then they went through every episode. So then me and uh, my wife, we the four of us then watched it because we were like, oh, we love this show. And mm-hmm. then we watched every episode again. Yeah. And it just, it's now, it's like a phenomenon. It's, I mean, it's it really, so good. We watch whenever. And it's on all the time. Now it is, yeah. All Comedy Central, you can, you can like, yep. get an uh, all-day Sunday marathon. Oh, it's so good. So, uh, all right. But anyhow. All um, right, let's see what we did here. The Okay. The announcement of the first Dunder Mifflin Office Olympiad was a creamy deal. (laughs) While Michael and Dwight were out smoking Michael's first lounge, the staff made a... Wait. Michael's first lounge type of building? Michael's first lounge. The staff made a huge ashtray that went across the whole Cuba... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to make the announcement of the event sound more nutty, Jim hummed the Olympic theme song and made his own humidor effects by repeating the last part of each sentence. So it seemed like they were all standing in a huge factory. All right, you know what? You're going to finish this. Oh, my gosh. Here's his speech. Bonk, bonk, bonk. This scented candle andle andle, which I found in the men's puff room room room. Oh, I see, I see what he's. It's an echo. Oh. Can we re, we, I'm going to restart that. 
Here's this beach. Bonk, bonk, bonk. This scented candle, andal, andal, which I found in the men's puff room, 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 presents the eternal puffing of competition or something. Fire! <laughs> we will be competing for aubergine, silver, and bronze taco lids. <laughs> Let the cigars begin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those actually worked in the the sentence, which is kind of funny in its own right, but Yeah, oh my I, gosh. I guess you had to know the show to get that way um Jim's speech. Probably went. a little bit, yeah. I don't know. Was that funny? <laughs> <laughs> Did that flop? <laughs> we could do another one another time and see if it works good. Yeah. Yeah. I like a clear yeah, these do have a nice clear draw. But sure. I will uh I'm gonna mark this in my journal. I'm gonna mark. Uh, I'm the gonna other one? Yeah, the other one. Oh yeah, Just. let's do. Let's have a journal entry moment. I need a little like intro music for this. It's now journal time. Do a little. <laughs> yeah. Let's. So, we'll give you this band, and you could say, "I tried this because Angela suggested it." Via. She said, "This is what you're smoking today." Yeah. Her wedding there, and. Uh, All right. Not my wedding. The wedding I worked. And you can see. All right, uh, for everyone at home, if you're into cigars, I do suggest you getting a cigar journal. It's right. easily to find on Amazon. They're just a few bucks. Yep, like six or nine. Eight bucks or even. Twelve bucks most. Yeah, I think this one was like eight dollars or something. Yeah, they're a good price. And the purpose of the journal is to just do what we're doing now. Remember yeah. stuff you've never even heard of. So, and did you like it? Sometimes, hey, you could say you didn't. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not going to like them all. All right. So this, the name of the cigar is a New Cuba. Mm-hmm. And the brand was, was that a Drew Estate? No, no. So this what one the is brand? the brand, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I thought the New Cuba was the brand. I have to look it up. <laughs> oh, all righty. Uh, price length was uh, five, right? Mm-hmm. And the ring size was 50. Shape. Cigar shaped. Oh, we don't have shape. to fill out every part of it. <laughs> I think also again, that's maybe like that's just the typical shape because also they have like the um, torpedo head. That's true. So this is or just, like the box. Like I remember mm-hmm. one, in box, one of the episodes I had one of the box. Press, yeah. yeah, the box press. Mm-hmm. So this was definitely uh, yeah, they, earthy. Mm-hmm, yeah. You said it was nutty. It was a little nutty, a little earthy. I'm not sure why they have so many boxes here. I'm gonna put earthy and nutty. Sort of like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say it was a medium. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, we get to color in the cigar. All righty. Oh, look at that. And I would give it, this one has stars. I would probably give it a three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Me too. It was, um. I don't, yeah, it's three you know out of five stars. It's, it's kind of a nice... I mean, I don't know what that one costs, but I bet if it was reasonably, it's one that you could just have on hand. Oh yeah, you know, and sometimes they call it a yard gar, uh, yard cigar. Um, like if you're cutting the grass, uh, oh. this and that. Um, that was a fair priced one. Low, yeah. Um, so I would say definitely a three out of five too. Yeah. When I've had it, um, let's just show the people. Oh, oh let me get the tape. I want to get a long ash on this one. I was started. I started to get a long ash before, but look at the so, ash on that. All right, so there that's you all go. This. That's it. Cigar journal. Done and done. It was page two. I feel so accomplished. All right, so this one over here. She was telling me how she likes to be uh, uh, the barefoot photographer. So I'm. I'm <laughs> before she jumps into that. Just to kind of keep some current news, uh, just to be fun. To I be s- fair, you <laughs> threw in the photographer. <laughs> Why? You mean you're saying you don't like uh, I mean, shoot babies, uh, newborns barefoot? Oh, you know, I, <laughs> the two okay. don't mix. <laughs> Damn it! You're right. You have me there. <laughs> oh, any opportunity to take off my shoes, I do. All right. Damn it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> fun. So I saw this article uh, in the newspaper. Okay, here's. Let's see. Uh, what you all think about this. I thought it was kind of cool and kind of, you know, made me laugh. So this gentleman, he's from Norwalk, Connecticut, and his name, this true story, by the way, true story, <laughs> Joseph DeRuvo, 
Uh, he's a photographer, uh, or he was, and he wow. was a photography teacher. But the reason why I kind of uh, wanted to talk about it is because this gentleman walk, has been walking barefoot outside for 20 years. What's your barefoot story? <laughs> Oh wait! I just want to say, just to keep him, he said it started because his uh, his tootsies, his toes, were killing him from bunions, and he took off his shoes and he never turned, he never looked back. So yeah. actually, I do want you guys to comment below because for me, I do, I know that actually there's certain things when our feet are in the, our bare feet are in the soil, it's good for our immune system. But to me, when I read the article, I was like, but isn't he gonna like? What if he cuts his feet like on like a broken bottle on the street or well, something? Well, yeah, I mean, you do run that risk, I guess, but. I remember growing up, we had <clears throat> where our, our house was located on this land that was had ledge uh, rocks just everywhere. Mm. You couldn't you couldn't in Massachusetts. Lots of Massachusetts, rocks in your backyard. Yeah, literally had this massive rock formation that sort of just grew out of the ground. Um, there were rock Plymouth. walls. <laughs> yeah. Plymouth Rock. Uh, I it was more Central Mass, but even still, this. They were just, it was just rocks everywhere. But I don't know, my brother and I, I just love to be barefoot. Even I could, you know, run in the driveway and run on the, and I think obviously because it was our property, but I always just knew where to step, mm -hmm. you know? We could run through the yard and just know which, which don't rocks. Don't gash could, your you feet could. on the Plymouth Rock. But uh, as I got older, it's much harder. It's harder on my knees. So like mm -hmm. walking around in the, on the, you know, uh, wood floors is, is hard. And obviously my feet get cold. I'm not saying I, I would love to be barefoot all of the time. Yeah. Uh, but I still, to this day, I mean, I actually, I know you're not supposed to, but I would always drive barefoot. I, I actually, I, I did that. And just... Uh, yeah. That, um, I haven't done that in, yeah. Have you done that recently? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. in the summers? Sure. Yeah. 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 Well, no, as you, you're not, um, this is another tangent. I think I've mentioned that my I have a day job as a school bus driver. That's against the law. It is against <laughs> we the won't law. tell anybody. Is it? I don't I know. Is it a law? I leave them close by. Should the flashing lights come up behind up the me? Street, yeah. I'm just you know, it was kind of I don't know. <laughs> you throw the flip flops in the side, but yeah, I I don't like I don't know. I don't know that I could walk could, through the snow. Um, but my son does that. Barefoot. When the yeah. last snow we had, he took off his shirt and everything, and he just went plop right in the. He was, <laughs> he, he wanted to like do snow angels like with, naked, and I was like, wow, it's kind of liberating. Uh, it is kind of liberating. Feel the earth yes. with your naked feet, but um, even if it's, you know, just to walk through the mud, like your feet, they could be cold and they could be, you know, just absolutely frozen. But it's just a neat. I like the sensation. I just I yeah. like to walk around my gardens in bare feet. Yeah. And, well, it's good for your immune system, they say. So. You know, and you're and there. My guess is he's got really hardened soles. Yeah, from, they showed. Um, I guess if I could grab the picture, I'll put it below. They yeah. actually showed the bottom of his feet. They were almost like original, like caveman feet. <laughs> like they were all callous. And actually, it was yeah. kind of cool in a sense. But I don't know. It makes me nervous because, like I said, even if even if uh, what if you know, there's like debris. S sometimes on the yeah, you just don't, don't want glass shards in your foot no. on the in the street, but because he said he runs in the street. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but hey, uh, to, it, it is interesting. It's kind of liberating, I guess. It is. Try it. Just walk around your garden, bare feet. <laughs> oh, that I definitely recommend. Mm. Yeah, you do that. That's a good idea. That that's a nice feeling because in the summer when I'm out here, you know, after you jump out of the pool and. Uh, to feel like the grass and yeah. the soil in between your toes. But actually, it, is, it, it brings you back to like when you're like eight or five. Yeah. Well, even, I, you know, you were like, as the barefoot photographer, I, it's it's true. Um, <laughs> that would be like your third. I we would... were talking about logos. That would be your third logo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, but I, I do. And I, I think it's a level of comfort, too. You know, it's, I don't know, I, I just feel... I don't know, maybe I'm just closer to the ground. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but... Brings um, you close to nature? I do. I just, I love, I love being barefoot. So you heard yeah. it here first, guys. <laughs> Marcy loves being barefoot, and so does, what's his name there? Joseph DeRivo. Yeah. It was an interesting article. Look him up. It was, it was, it was kind of neat. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so we want to end this on our toast. Let's take our uh, coffee here. One final sip. Yeah. Yeah, she's almost gone. 
Okay, so if you know it, say it along with us. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Here's, Here's to swearing, swearing, lying, stealing, and drinking. When you swear, swear by your country. When you lie, lie for a friend. When you steal, steal away from a bad company. And when you drink, drink with me. Slunjavar. All right, and oh. I always have to say, Ala Sante. <laughs> All right, so once again, thanks for subscribing, Authentically Angela. We are also on Spotify under the same name. If you type in Authentically Angela Cigar Podcast, it will come up, and we'll see you next, next time. time. Authentically Angela Video Podcast. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.